Fort Berthold Indian Reservation has seen much change already due to the oil boom of North Dakota. There has been a heavy increase in traffic, crime, business, and death. The efforts to save the environment cannot compete with the efforts for oil production. At the end, of, after everything is said and done of the oil boom of North Dakota, the three affiliated tribes may not be a federally recognized tribe. Yeah. This is too dangerous for our people. I mean, the oil traffic it brought and all the trucks and all that. And none of our people are prepared for that. And when they and uh, things really bad for our environment. What do you call it? Water? We're going to land. You know, I don't think that oil, what do we call it? Workers. Oil production people will do very much to recover them. Mm, case in point, the golf. They changed it and they didn't fix it yet. Talk like they fixed it, but they didn't. Don't know if that will ever recover. I think it's good for the tribe, the reservation and everything. With the money it brings in. I don't agree on how they handle the money. But I think it's good for the people, but not for the community. Yeah, our traffic is a problem. The people coming in, the, the, the sex offenders that are all over the reservation now. Um, it has its positive and negatives. Hmm. I don't know, because some days it has its good moments, like when you see some money come in, and some days it's not so hot when you have to stand in line or you're traffic in or you see the trash and the, the dump and how the place looks or you hear about the accidents. Mostly it's negative to me because I don't see too many financial benefits from it and don't really need the financial benefits. So when I look at the, the state of it, it's, it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. As it's good and bad, the good part is um, People are benefiting off it. They are getting money, or they they're finally having money to like spend, get new stuff or stuff they never had. Um, the tribe is also benefiting off it too. There's new business here. And yeah. Oh, shut up. Uh, that's tough because with money comes all kinds of stuff like greed and that stuff can get between families and as a tribe, tribal unit or as a reservation we're supposed to be a big family. You can see the corruption coming from it already. Um, as far as the future, today's kids seem to be more and more like the outer society, more interested in possessions than, than anything more wholesome than that. So I don't know. It, Actually, I'm, I'm not too negative of a person, but it, it doesn't look good. The, you know, uh, the enriching of the culture, the more revenue and stuff that uh, the membership will have the an opportunity or more funding to, to expand programs that does cultural and, and for the benefit of the uh, membership of the tribe, uh, you know, holding cultural events like, um, you know, like these hand games, story or Indian story or old storytelling by the elders and stuff. That all takes uh, funding and whatnot to put it on to, you know, like you to rent the halls and and provide food or or even stipends for the people that are, are going to be instructors or whatever for it. 
Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's, it's good. And... Well, today, it's talking about our people as a identity as Native American. We're barely hanging on to a little bit of it today. But the coming generation will probably not have someone older to go ask who remembers anything about our past. Where today sometimes we still have that. Generation. Completely different. They, uh, well, if you look back from our generation to the ones before us, you could go down the street and, real, and know who, who the people were. I could walk down the street and not have to worry about traffic. I knew who everybody were, you know, I mean, and today our next generation is going to be filled with semis and it's a different, different community, different people, reservations different from 10 years ago. So, hopefully it's for the best, but. Well, after the oil boom, that's going to be a couple decades or two, but our tribe is just going to get bigger and bigger. Hopefully, the, they invest their money and do it right with the tribe to where we could have a bigger tribe. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think we still be a federally, federally recognized tribe. Hopefully, with a bigger population of enrolled members and we use that money good. To improve our Alright, well thank you so much for letting me interview you, William Stevens. I hope. I think they'll be that for a while. It will probably take a long time for them to whatever you call termination as a federal recognized tribe. Because right now, if the government was trying to say terminate our tribe or not have that federal recognition, right now they can afford to hire the very best people to keep that. They can hire that for a while yet. After they run out of money, then it's another question. So I think they'll have it for a while. Plus, the uh, enrollment is kind of going up somehow with that, what do you call it, that quantum where it's lower, the quantum.